But the thing about the junk drawer is it keeps giving us stuff that we need so that we can function in life. Even though it's junky, there's some valuable things in that junk drawer. Now, if you guys look in y'all, please tell me I don't have trash. I'm not talking about trash and roaches in junk drawer. I'm talking about actual usable things that you guys throw in there because you're like, one day I'm gonna need it. Or you know what, I'm gonna need to come back and I don't know where else to put it, so I'm gonna just throw it in this drawer. But you know, eventually you go back to that drawer and need something out of it. And so when I thought about that as I was you know, trying to prepare for this, I'm like, God, we, we have so many things in our junk drawer and we try to apply it to relationships, but there are some things that we actually need from you to keep in the drawer. And there's only three things I want to talk about. One, we need batteries. Batteries. The scripture says that God is the strength of our life forever. And if you're in a relationship, well, I'll say any relationship, but particularly dating relationship, your battery, your ability to keep it thriving, keep it growing, will only last but so long. You know, that facade you put on it to be the gentleman. The facade to put on to be the nice lady that doesn't fart, doesn't burp, you know, just always smells good. That's going to fade. Look, get married. It's going to fade. Because you got to get comfortable being real with each other. But the thing is, that little energizer bunny to put on the fake or to keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, you get tired. And you run out. And all of a sudden, when you don't keep doing the things that you used to, now the other person's like, you don't change. <laughs> You're not the person you used to be. And it's like you run out of energy when you do it in your own power only. God's way to date in a relationship. But we need batteries to keep going. And I realize in, in my greatest days, I still fall short. I love my life, my wife with all my heart, with all my life, but I can still fall short in my own power. So I realized that my battery runs out. I need a battery that will keep me going, and that is only found in Jesus. So when he says, God, you're the strength of my heart and my life, which means, God, you're my battery. You're my energy. You're my source that will allow me to keep loving this woman when she gets on my last nerves. God, you are the energy that I can keep being the example that you need me to be in this relationship when my emotions want me to act like my old man. God's energy battery is what keeps us going forward. You find that in the junk drawer. And you know what? Many times people forget that it's God that allows you to be the man you are, to be the woman that you are. So somewhere in a relationship, we push God out and wonder, why does relationships start to have trouble? Because we forgotten the battery to keep us going. We were running, 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 running. Then the battery got out, it's like you go, mm -hmm. and I used to give compliments all the time, but now it's so hard, because now I just say mean things, because she gets on my nerves. It's, you got the wrong battery. Anytime you start to realize yourself changing, and I preach to myself, I actually can testify. She can say, me, that's right, sir. <laughs> it's, I'm not acting like I've attained this. I'm speaking from my own practical learning that when my battery fails, I have to realize I need God's battery, not mine. And I mean, I got married. When I said death do us part, I meant that. So divorce is not an option in my marriage. But the only way I can get to that death do us part is if I'm running on God's battery. It's in the junk drawer. 